All right, hello everybody. It's Stell from Stellwork Studio. And um, recently on Clay Buddies, someone was asking, what do you do with your um, clay bags once you're done with the clay? And I said, oh, well I use them to wrap my blocks of clay for the extruder so I don't have to clean the extruder. And people were like, ooh, I wanna hear more about that. So I'm gonna show you how I prep my blocks for the extruder. And you just saw me use my handy dandy um, four hole block cutter. So that makes, that turns my 25 pound block into four equal sections. And then I'm just gonna slam it down into a shorter and squatter block. Um, that basically fits the dimensions of my extruder. And can you, can you see how it, it, it stays, uh, it gets wider on the ends, but then it stays skinny in the middle, which is why I'm slamming it on the sides after I slam the ends down. And I can't remember the measurement, so I'm just going to go check the size really quick. <laughs> that looks about right. Maybe a little bit wider. Not much though. There. Give it a good spanking. Okay. So, my block is about the size that I need it for the extruder. And when in doubt, measure. Because sometimes I make it too fat and that's a pain in the butt to get in there. Next, I'm going to take my clay bag and I'm going to cut the bottom off like so. And then I'm going to cut it up the sides. Hey. Hey. One side and two sides. Oh, come on. And then we're going to wrap the print. Um, always label, if, especially if you use more than one clay. Um, this is my speckled buff, so this bag was from the speckled buff, so it's already properly labeled. Okay. Got that sitting in the middle like so. I'm gonna bring this up like that. And bring this up. Oh scooch it over here. There. Okay, that and that and then and do that right. Mm -hmm. This way first. It's been a while, friends. Okay, we go that away first. And then we take this side and we'll smoosh it up here. You see that? Just smooth it right up there. And then, oh wait, and then we squoosh that one down there. And then fold these in and then you don't have to do this, but it does make it easier. Just a little bit of packing tape or scotch tape or whatever tape you've got sitting around just to keep it stuck down there. All right. Smooth that up there and put that down there. And Fold those in like that and tape it because I want to show you one more thing after I've got this all wrapped up. All right, we got that sucker taped. Okay, so when we put it in the extruder, we're going to put it this end in first. Well, how do you get the clay through there? Um, if you are like me, 
you do extruding with dies that have more than one hole and you have to mask them. Um, so what I do is, if it's something like this that's just, you know, four pieces, I always work with the front right. So say I'm using this hole, I will always put that in this position under the extruder. Um, so that means that I will always take my, um, utility knife and I will cut out this piece of plastic right here. This is the area that gets cut out. But if I were doing, say, oh, um, like a soap dish die or something, I would just take that die and I would give it a squish just to see. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Okay, maybe not give it a squish. Maybe stick it on there and give it a little trace just so that you can see where it needs to be. And then you can see where to cut out so that you don't have the clay coming out all the way to the edge. You just have it coming out where you need it and the rest of it is protected by the plastic. So then all you have to do is take that, drop it in to your extruder and have at it. And I usually, after the first squeeze, I'll lift up the plunger and I'll put in a follower of some sort. I use a folded up towel just because it'll protect that plastic on top from that little bit of space in between the the plunger and the side of the extruder. So that's how I reuse my um, clay bags. And how I keep my extruder it's perfectly clean. The only thing I have to clean is the dye. Um, very occasionally I'll go through and give it a sponging out, but not very often. Are you telling me that I'm taking too long? Mm -hmm. <laughs> No. Mr. Foot Tapper here. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Um, if you learned anything from this, please give me a thumbs up. If you were interested in more videos, hit subscribe, um, notification bell if you want notifications, and I will see you next time. Thank you.